Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Lindley's World of Weather. He clicked on to long-range weather forecast discussion for March 29th through April 12th. To March 29th to April 2nd, we have above normal heights here um, across the Central Pacific. And then they advanced uh, all the way to Greenland. You can see it right here. All the way here, we had below normal heights with a trough here. And we have above normal heights here across the high latitudes, Canada, and along the East Coast. Now, um, during this forecast system, a uh, forecast period, I should say, uh, we'll have this low that will be exiting the um, Northeast. And this will bring rain and snow to the region. And then an upper low... We'll have to go further. An upper low will be sinking south, where you can see it right here, along the California coast. Um, from this week into um, into the middle of next week, and then um, you'll see it'll track eastward then across the southwest. And this would direct moisture into California to, and produce rain, high elevation snow from California to the southwest, central uh, plains, and southern Rockies during this period. Now, we'll look at snowfall amounts. Let me see if I have the right map up. Okay, this is the snowfall amount. So, we go to Friday. Then the system comes in. We have eight, five inches here on Sunday. And then... Um, then it moves later on into the Rockies. We see 8 to 10 inches falling. This is 24-hour totals. And we'll go into Monday and Tuesday. And then it spreads into the um, the plains here with 9, 8 inches here. And then um, it'll move into the east. And this will bring additional snow to the northeast. Uh, we'll take a look at that at the system. I mean, at the surface. And you can see the system moves into the northeast. It's going to bring rain, more rain to portions of um, the east. And um, some areas could have some snow uh, across northern New England, like the same thing I showed there. Then um, uh, we will have like heavy snow on the northern side of the system, rain to the south. That's what I want to get to. Okay, we're going to the period now for, um, okay, let me look at the severe weather. There's like so many things I just want to do. Okay, we're going to look at the severe weather aspects. Okay, um, we're going to start at the middle of the period. Of course, if models don't show, this significant tornado parameters. Um, there's a possibility of severe weather here in the plains, but it's very low. You can see here, it's like, um, I don't know, 10%, whatever. And then we go further into time and the system kind of like calms down. There's no um, real threat. Now, what we'll also look at here is the, um, the lapse rates I want to show, they're not loading. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's all right. We don't have, we don't have the lapse rates. All right. So much for that. Now we're going with the period for April 3rd to the 7th. And you can see we have an upper low here near Alaska, above normal heights here. We have a ridge that extends from Northeast Pacific to the West Coast, trough in the West ridge here in the east so um miles in fairly good agreement on this a uh, few slight differences but all in all in good agreement so for this forecast period i'm calling for let me see if i can get it is this the right map yeah okay calling for above normal temperatures here and here and I'm calling for anomalies about four to six degrees above normal, below normal temperatures here, and for this region with anomalies of four to six degrees below normal for precipitation. Calling for above normal precipitation here, and for this region, probability of occurrence is near 40%. Now we look at the next period. This is for April 8th to the 12th, and the models are still split during this forecast period. If you look at the GFS, uh, has a ridge, ridge here, trough in between. Then uh, we look at the 
the um, the European ensembles has a trough in the west, region in the east, and we have the other model here, somewhat uh, saying ridging zone of flow, but they all have above normal heights here. The flow remains generally the same across the northern latitudes with a uh, ridge here and a trough here near Alaska. So uh, for this forecast period, colon four, above normal temperatures here. And I mean, that's the only period, uh, only area above normal temperatures with the numbers of two to four degrees above normal, below normal temperatures here. And for this region, and anomalies forecast to be near four degrees below normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here, probability of occurrence 35%. And then we have above normal precipitation for this region here, probability of occurrence is near 35%. That's the long range weather forecast discussion for April 29th, I mean, from March 29th to April 12th. Thanks for coming to Jim Mungley's World of Weather and have a good day.